Hi, and welcome to the Basement Gun Shop. Uh, why the Basement Gun Shop? Well, I'll tell you why the Basement Gun Shop, because that's exactly what it is. It's my basement, and uh, I work on all my own guns. Everything that needs to be done to one of my guns, I do myself. Uh, so why am I making this video? Uh, I don't know. I felt like it. Seemed like uh, the logical next step to take. I'm an NRA instructor. I Duracoat guns. I do hydrographic printing on guns. I do a lot of different stuff with guns because, let's face it, they are amazing machines. Um, just the physics of what happens when you pull that trigger is an amazing thing. So, what are we going to talk about? Lots of different things. Um, we're going to talk about guns. We're going to talk about more guns. Um, I'm sure at some point in time some political bullshit will work its way in, especially with this treasonous administration that's in place. I'm sure I'll get a few wonderful comments about that. Um, so, uh, what do I have here sitting behind me? Huh? Well, I'm sure you've seen a lot of stuff out there about this. It is the Israeli Weapon Industries Tabor SAR. This is my personal firearm. I absolutely love this thing. And let me follow that statement up with, I am a diehard AR and 1911 guy. I absolutely love the AR platform. I love the 1911 platform. I love the 45 ACP round. Um, I build my own ARs. Um, I just ordered a mill to start doing 80% receivers. And I'm sure at some point in time, I'm just going to say the hell with it. And I'm going to buy a block of aluminum and mill an AR lower from scratch. But that's way down the line. So, um, wow. Let's talk about this beauty right now. Um, 16 and a half inch barrel, 26 and a half inches overall length, which keeps it just over the NFA requirement and keeps it out of the SBR or short barrel rifle range. For sights, we have the built in flip ups, integral with the Picatinny rails on top. We have an EOTech XPS2, uh, a Tackstar weapon light beep, with pressure switch. Jerry Mikulek compensator muzzle brake, Magpul sling, uh, single point or double point sling, dual point sling, however you want to talk about it. And I've heard a lot of things about the Tabor. A lot of people are yelling about the heavy trigger pull. A lot of people are talking about modding the trigger pack by removing the, one of the reset springs to make the trigger pull lighter. Um, this is a ridiculously over-engineered firearm. Israeli Weapon Industries prototyped this for 10 years. Who prototypes a gun for 10 years? I mean, that, that's unheard of. And as far as I'm concerned, after 10 years, they got it right. 100%. Um, I mean, wow. Just, you know, the fact that you can put the safety on even when the gun is completely empty. There's nothing in the gun. The hammer's down and you can still put the safety on. For charging a battle rifle when you're in the heat of combat, think about that. Just the thought that went in, the thought process that went into that alone. And yes, I'm smoking. You don't like it? Don't watch. Deal with it. I'm about the least politically correct individual you'll ever meet. And I like it that way. So, <laughs> I'm getting back to the Tabor. Um, three, three pins, basically, to break this whole thing down. One pin right here, and they're all captive pins. One pin right here, which will hinge the butt plate out. Let me grab a pin, uh, a punch. Grab that, just like that. Butt plate hinges. <laughs> and there's your whole bolt, bolt carrier group, recoil spring, everything. Right in one neat little pack. From there, taking it down is 
a simple matter of two roll pins, a couple twists, and everything's out for you. It doesn't get much easier than that. The trigger pack is almost as easy. Two pins right here and right here. Now, this rifle fairly new. I've only got about a thousand rounds through it. And yes, I still consider that fairly new. Two pins, hinge the bolt, release, and there's your trigger pack. Done deal. How much simpler does it get? From there, you can spray out all the receiver. You can run your patches, your bore brushes through the barrel, clean it out, slap it right back in. Done deal. I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than that. So, while I was off camera, I slapped the bolt carrier group back in, I slapped the trigger pack back in. Um, it's really just an amazing, amazing firearm. I, I don't have enough good things to say about it. I mean, really, the only thing you have to do is, I have another video of myself and a very good friend of mine dressed in a banana, sh banana suit shooting this very Tabor SAR and uh, just the rate of fire is ridiculous um, I don't claim to be the fastest shooter on the face of the planet in fact my buddy Jonas in a banana suit shoots it a lot faster than I do as far as accuracy um, it is as accurate as any AR I've ever shot or built um, at 100 yards with the EOTech I'm keeping about a three inch group from a bench. Um, and again, that is, I'm nearsighted shooting without my glasses, just a pair of, you know, regular safety glasses, and just putting that little bitty red dot where I want the bullet to go and pulling the trigger. Um, it, it's a fantastic gun. Um, I picked mine up for about $2,200. i have seen prices you know, up to 25, I've seen prices. I've heard of prices at 16. I don't know where anybody's getting them for that. But that's besides the point. So this is the Tabor SAR, and this is the first installment of the basement gun shot. So in the future, if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, reloading, handguns, other rifles, ARs, AKs, um, you know, whatever you want to talk about, Whatever you want to get my opinion on, my take on, or the benefit of my experience, um, just drop me a, a comment and say, hey, I want to talk about this, or I want to talk about that, or what do you think of this? And I'll give you my honest opinion. Um, this is all out of my basement. I don't have any fancy studio. In fact, it's one camera, one tripod. Um, no sponsors, just me my Tabor, my gun safe, stuff like that. And uh, if you got any questions, shoot me a link, shoot me a mail, let me know. Talk to you soon.